Hey guys, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create printables on Canva to sell on Etsy using My Designs. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go to canva.com and obviously if you don't have an account yet you're going to have to sign up um, here but Canva pretty much makes it really easy to make anything design related. Um, they have a bunch of different templates already made for us so for this example we're going to be doing cards and in particular Mother's Day cards. So you can see if we go to templates here in the, in the top left corner you'll see under personal they have a cards option so we can click into this and you'll see it uh, pops up a bunch of different uh, templates now you can sort it to do um, landscape or um, vertical whatever way you'd like to do your cards but these ones are landscape and they're seven by five inches so we're going to use one of these as an example um, you would just click into this and then they make it um, really easy for you to customize it um, you know, once we're here, as you can see, we can delete this stuff because obviously that's not what we're going to be using. Um, and then you can play around with a bunch of different text options, a bunch of background options, um, different styles and everything like that. So to save time, I'm not going to actually design the card here. I've already had one designed ahead of time, um, but I just wanted to show you guys that's how you would access it. Um, like I said, you can just click to change the backgrounds. Uh, you can click to add text and then you can change the um, font that you'd like to use. Um, they make it really easy here to make good looking designs. But for now, we're gonna go back to home and then I've got a design created here already. Oh, that's the one we were just in. So we're going to go back. It's this one here. So I created this design. It took me, you know, about maybe five minutes to create that design. Um, it's not, you know, a perfect design, but I'm just using it as an example. So it just says 10 things I love about my mom and then uh, list the numbers with the lines they can write it on. And then it says Happy Mother's Day. So once you have a design created like this, all you really have to do is go up to share and then there's a download uh, option here. You can click download and then choose the file type that you would like. I'm going to be selling mine as a PDF print, but I've also downloaded it as a PNG and a JPEG um, so that I can sell all three of them. And we'll be using the um, PNG for our mockups as well on my designs because a PDF doesn't work for mockups. Um, we also do have the option for you to save it to Dropbox if you would like, and then Google Drive is coming as well. So I've got these downloaded and saved as well. So let's jump over to My Designs. So we're on the dashboard of the My Designs homepage. Uh, what we're going to do is navigate to the listings tab right under dashboard. Um, as you can see, it brought me to an empty collection here. Um, I had one set up ahead of time that, uh, as you can see, Mother's Day and then cards. So um, if you don't have this set up, it's very easy to create a collection and we have other videos on that. Um, I'm just going to click into cards and then we'll go ahead and get our design uploaded. So we're, we just go to the upload tab in the top right corner here. You can drag and drop or you can click and select your file. I'm just going to drag and drop. It's my PDF that I have of the design I just created on Canva and then we'll click upload designs. So this should work fairly quick as you can see that circle shows that it's uh, uploading and there'll be a check mark when it's done just like that. So as you can see it put the PDF into our primary slot here um, but we cannot use a PDF um, to convert um, images on a mock-up so we're gonna have to use our PNG or JPEG to do that um, so you can see these file slots that I'm hovering over this primary one I named PDF and then PNG JPEG and then we've got two mock-up slots and a zip file slot and this zip file slot will actually contain all three of our um, designs that we're selling so the PDF PNG and JPEG um, for now what we want to do is click the PNG file slot and then we're gonna drag and drop our PNG into this uh, file slot here. You have to hover over right where I'm at and then you can drop it and you'll see um, that it'll uh, populate there and then we'll go ahead and do it for the JPEG too. As you can see that works really quick. So now that we've got our files how we want them, the next step is going to be creating a couple different mockups and then we'll uh, go ahead and adjust our data and uh, put some tags in as well. So before we jump into mockups, I do want to show you guys that I do have my data set up here already. If I jump over to the keywords tab here, you'll see my primary keyword is Mother's Day 
file types that I'll be selling is PDF, PNG, and JPEG. Secondary keyword is digital download as that's what they'll be receiving. And then the niche is I put printable cards. And I know that Mother's Day fits a little better there, but I set it up this way um, because it helps um, me set up my data better. So now I wanna jump over to mockups and we can do that by going to more actions, mockups, and then like I said earlier, we cannot use a PDF to create a mockup, so we're gonna have to select our PNG or our JPEG slot. And then as you can see, it shows us a preview, and our right image two slot is going to be mockup one. Now in the uh, search mockup feature here, I'll just select digital, and then I personally like this tree bark digital mockup. So next I'm gonna map some of the um, keywords that I want to be shown here. Um, for this first one, I'm going to do secondary key, or excuse me, file types. And then you can choose the color that you want your text to be. For secondary keywords, I'm going to do um, secondary keyword. And I'm going to also use um, black on both of these, but you can change the color if you'd like. Next, we can generate a preview to make sure that it's um, it looks how we would like it to, and that should work fairly quickly, as you can see. So I don't think the mock-up looks the greatest, but we're going to use it just since I'm only using it as an example. Um, so this is what one of or what a paying customer would receive as one of the, um, or excuse me, not receive, but see as one of the images when they were shopping um, for a Mother's Day card. So next, we'll just click Create Mockups. And you can see under active jobs here, it shows that it's working. It has one design and queue, and that should work really quick. Um, if you guys remember right, we mapped this to go from PNG to mockup one here. So when that's done creating the mockup, it will populate right here in this slot. All right, and now that that's done, we'll go ahead and click on it to make sure it's how we like it. And I do think that that looks good like that. Uh, we do want to create one more mock-up just so it's not only one that we're showing. So once again, we go to more actions, mock-ups. Um, and this time, we're going to do a um, maybe a sticker uh, since that might look kind of good. Uh, we'll use this die cut sticker and then generate a preview. And now that that's done, I do think that that looks good. So we'll use that as our second mock-up and we'll just click create mock-ups. Once again, under active jobs, you'll see that it's working. And now that that's done, we'll go ahead and preview it once again to make sure it looks like, um, hey, you know, how we want it to. And then the next step is going to be adding some tags here and then making sure that our um, data is how we'd like it. So I do want to mention in the title and the description, I have some active variables at play. Um, you can't see them because I need, you have to click into the field to see it, but you can see how it's underlined. That means that that's a variable. So if I click into this, you'll see when I scroll over to the front, there's keywords.niches and keywords.primary keywords. So that is a variable um, in that bracket. Keywords.primary keyword means it's pulling from the keywords tab and then primary keyword. And then on the opposite side, you'll see keywords.niches, keywords tab is pulling from niches here. So that's an active variable. If we change this at all, this will update automatically as well. Um, this works really well if you're using tons of different designs inside of a collection. It's not as uh, useful if we're just doing one design. Um, but you know, imagine we had 100 Mother's Day cards and we were trying to upload them all at once. That would be very, very powerful. So next, let's just go ahead and, and uh, update this data a little bit. I think that I want to add the actual title. So 10 things I love about my mom. And then it says Mother's Day printable card, PDF, PNG, JPEG, and then printable card, clip art, and instant download. So I like that there. Um, next, I want to go ahead and just make sure the description's good. Um, what it does is just, um, once again, says Mother's Day PDF printable card. And then um, by purchasing this, you will receive, we can actually expand this as well so that we don't have to scroll. Um, you will receive and it shows the files. So one PDF file, one PNG file, one JPEG file, and it shows the pixels that they are. And I may also want to say that, they, that this is a seven by five inch card. And once again, that seven by five inches was the template the Canva had. And I believe that that's for most cards um, that are in the landscape um, portrait. So next we'll go ahead and just add a line break there and then we'll click save changes. 
And now we just want to add a couple tags here. And I believe Etsy allows 13 tags um, per listing. For this one, I'm just going to add a couple um, and not do all of them to save time. Uh, you know, just a couple things like this. And uh, we'll just go ahead and save changes on that and we'll do that for now. So once everything looks good in the title, description, and tags, it looks like um, we're good to go. So one thing I want to mention before I actually start uploading to Etsy is we have this inventory and pricing uh, tab. Um, and you will need to fill this out. Quantity is $9.99. That's the max that Etsy allows. And then the price tag I have set for this is just $4.99. You can set that however you would like. But um, if you're using this template, um, it sh it'll automatically have the inventory and pricing in the keywords as well. So you'll just have to populate that on your own. So our last step is just going to be getting this published on Etsy. Um, like I said, once all of our data is um, populated correctly and how we would like it, we just go up to the Publish tab here. Um, make sure we have this one, this design selected once again. Um, if you had multiple designs, you could just um, select them all by clicking Select All. So then we go to Publish. As you can see, it says Digital Platforms Etsy. Um, file types, we're going to select the files that we would like to sell. You can convert files to various file types if you're using an SVG as your base file. We're using a PDF, so we have to select the files we'd like to sell. Um, as you can see, PDF was auto-selected, and then we're going to do PNG and JPEG as well. And then next step, uh, select Etsy category to proceed. So we're going to select Art and Collectibles. And then for the next one, we're going to go to prints as that's what we're selling. And then we'll click next step. Uh, it says choose your mock-up. So we have two mock-ups is all. We have mock-up one and mock-up two. Um, as you can see, it has primary under this. You can just change it if you'd like to by going like that. I'm gonna leave this as the primary as it shows the file types that they're getting. And then you can add a watermark too if you would like to by ch clicking the check mark there and then you just type whatever you want your watermark to be. Um, I'm not going to use one but that's how you would do it. And then we'll go next step. Um, next this is shown to choose the data fields. This will auto populate if you're using the template that I was, um, the Etsy um, template. So as you can see the title's correct, description is correct, tags are correct, inventory and pricing, and then quantity. So everything's mapped out correctly there so we'll click next. And then net right here is where we would select the shop that we would like to post it to. This is the My Designs SVG shop that we just use as a test shop. Um, if you had multiple shops linked to your My Designs account, this is where you would uh, select the different shop that you'd like to post it to. Um, and then we can just go ahead and look through the listing and make sure everything's good to go. And it does look like it is. So then you just click publish. And just like everything else, it will show under active jobs that it's working here. And uh, once that finishes, which it did, uh, we'll jump over to Etsy and make sure that it's on there. Um, you can see after that got done, on, on this right-hand tab, there's publications and a one popped up there. So anytime we post um, or publish anything to Etsy or any various websites that uh, you can, it'll show here. So if we click on into that, you'll have a link to the actual listing and then you can download the listing as well so if i was to click download zip this is what a paying customer would would go to here is this um link and then it would automatically download for them and i'll go ahead and open it and pull it over so as you can see this is what they would receive it has the pdf file the jpeg file and the png file now we're on etsy.com here logged into our shop and if we everything that we post from my designs is going to post as a draft and the reason why is because etsy charges a 20 cent listing fee so we don't want you to to upload from my designs to etsy and just get charged automatically so if we go into our draft tab here on uh, the right side of the web page you can see we've got a bunch of different um, ones that are in our draft and we've used these as examples, but you can see now here, there's the listing. So if I wanted to publish that listing, all I'd have to do is just click on this here and then click publish. And as you can see, it charges 20 cents. So we're not going to do that, but once I click that publish button and uh, pay the 20 cent fee, that would be live on Etsy and ready to go. And we could have done that same thing for a hundred different cards if we had the, had the designs done in, uh, you know, just a little bit more time than we did one single design.
So that should do it for this video on how to create printables on Canva to sell on Etsy um, using my designs. If, um, if there were parts of this video that were confusing, we have many training videos that are available on our um, community and I'll uh, leave a link in the description below. Um, if you guys did like this video, please make sure that you subscribe and comment and we'll catch you guys on the next video.